but this is their special race. It is, and you talk about the history of it, uh, and every Queenslander wants to win. They've had their pride dented this week, Queensland. They want to come back here. And I've got a feeling the fairy tale might happen, Richo, the Horovian, but to be honest, to back the winner of this today is like winning the lottery. This is a, a beauty, isn't it? It's a ripper, and uh, there's a lot of uh, commentary around the world about Group 1s, but this is so classic for Australia. Big field. Here's David Fowler to call the action. They're set for the tab, Stradbroke. Stand by. Light is on. We're ready. Mr. Quickie drawn the rails. Racing. Mr. Quickie might have missed a mile length. Vega One came out first, but Apache chased swiftly on the scene, as is Emerald Kingdom and Sava to excel charging up four wide. They're riding to Fade forward today, then the Herovian, followed by Olmedo, Mr. Quickie, getting back to midfield, Victoria, out back Barbie is wide, I am Superman. He's in that bunch, then Nick and Over, Signore Fox, followed by Sosi Bond, as they go around the first bend, getting a long way back with Sir Peter, and imaging his last of all, Wild Planet, about fifth last. Apache chase, he takes control lead Sava to excel. Vega one third the box seat. Olmedo right off the track to Emerald Kingdom. The Harovian just behind them. Then Tafane. Followed by Outback Barbie. Mr. Quickie near the rail. Then Victorum. Wild Planet. I am Superman. Sosie Bond. Nick and over. Sir Peter Senior Fox Imaging. And Master Jamie is last of all. The big field thunder to the turn. 500 left to run. Apache Chase. They'll try and run him down. Can they do it though in the straight? Apache Chase leads for home from Sava to excel. Vega one coming away from the rail. Mr. Quickie getting up to the inside. Emerald Kingdom chiming in. Wider was Tafane. They've got to Apache Chase. Vega 1 took the lead. Emerald Kingdom. Tafane coming at Vega 1. Down below the 100 metres. Vega 1 in the fight of his life. Tafane going with him. Stride for stride. Tafane and Vega 1. Tafane took the lead and won. Beat Vega 1. Photo with Senor Fox and Mr. Quickie not far away. Then came St. Peter, followed by Emerald Kingdom, the Harovian, so Sibon. Then at the head of the others was Imaging, Outback Barbie, Apache Chase, Victorum, Wild Planet, Sava to excel, and Master Jamie last over the line. What a class act she is. Tafane wins, Mike Baroni. Fox, he's run third in a Stradbroke. He's done a great job, hasn't he? He's been really consistent. He was just held up for a stride or two, Bruce. Uh, oh, there's some big names in the ownership of Tafane. Uh, the Black Caviar team of Werrett and Madden, former North Melbourne player Kerry Good, former Collingwood captain Wayne Richardson, Collingwood board member in Dr uh, Jack Kennedy and his son John Kennedy, and Carlton great Fraser Brown. There's some beauties. There are. Gee, it was a great ride. It was just a great race. The Herovian, no luck, but Willow's ride was superb. And Richo, Mike Moroni is going to be the most satisfied man in Australia tonight because this filly could have been retired easily. She was going to be. They talked about it. They've been able to bring her back. And as Katie said, a second group one, both at the Journey of 1400, a hard fought win over the gallant Vega one. So a classic Stradbroke. Have a look at that. About five links between the top 12 of them. Shell, you were cheering hard for Rachel King. She looked home. She gave Vega one an absolute peach of a ride. I was. She was waiting all day to, to not hit the front too soon. Um, as was well documented last time, Jamie said she wanted to get there late and she had to let her go. She hit the front and she really fought hard, but Mike Moroni's horses are just so fit, so tough, and Tefani was just a great win. He's a great rider, isn't he, Craig Williams? He's had uh, yet another great season. He was the leading Group 1 rider last season. He won't be this season. It'll be... James McDonald, but 64 wins in his career at the Group 1 level. That's the, 
the figure of Tom Hales and Bobby Lewis and Greg Charles are just ahead of him. Bruce, there's some incredible names he's moving alongside. I think we underrate him at times, don't you, Richo? I mean, he's phenomenal in his consistency in these Group 1s. He's won this race before. So is Mike, by the way, at, in different years, going back for both of them. But, no, he's a Hall of Famer to come, Craig. There's no question about that. He's been able to tick the boxes with the, the biggest races in Australia and, uh, again, a brilliant ride. You can take him anywhere, Richo, can't you, Craig? And you know that he's going to be giving you his all. So that long trip that he's had to Brisbane and staying on that we talked about earlier has paid off now in spades, hasn't it? Oh, it certainly has. He stayed up in Queensland due to lockdown and uh, he rode in the Sunshine Coast on Wednesday and uh, he engaged the services of Group 1 winning jockey and Rod, uh, Rod Quinn to drive him around and uh, he's a consummate professional, isn't he? Yeah, we've seen that with Craig Williams and Katie, it looks like it's a great reaction from the crowd with Tafane winning. Yeah, the atmosphere here is exceptional and, and uh, yeah, and back on to Craig Williams, it's it's a big sacrifice when you've got a family at home to, to move away from them for a while and uh, yeah, he's made every post a winner here in Queensland, he's just uh, he's just a great jockey, great all round jockey and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled for all the connections with Tavane because she's just been a wonderful mare. Yeah, they resisted not going to the broodmare sales uh, with her and uh, Michelle, that was a good move, she's worth even more now. <laughs> Absolutely, and a tough decision given how much they were making there at the, those broodmare sales. But um, yeah, once again, just a, a brilliant training performance by Mike Maroney to get her back, and um, a great win there today. Mr. Quickie ran really well. Subpoenaed ran well. Imaging flashing down the outside was great as well. It was a ripping Stradbroke. We'll chat to all the key connections post race uh, in a moment.